Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to this episode of Just Be Brie. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about what I eat for breakfast. Um, throughout the week, I'm normally up at like either 4, 4.15 if I'm doing a full workout or if it's just cardio, 5.30. So it's pretty early. Um, I try to get literally every ounce of sleep I can. So I don't like to have to wake up and make breakfast. So I'm going to show you guys quick overnight oats. Um, this one recipe that I've been using for it. You'll probably see a few others. Um, I've been switching it up, but this is my favorite current um, overnight oatmeal recipe. So here we go. So start off by getting you just any kind of mixing bowl. I just have this really cute mixing bowl set. So I'm just going to use this one. Um, you, this recipe calls for a one fourth cup of oats. I used to measure it out, but I make it so much now that I know about how much I need to get a good amount. So I do it, even though I have a measuring cup, I just feel like grabbing some handfuls and putting in just because I know how much I need now. But this recipe calls for a one fourth cup. And that's gonna give you about half of the little container that I put it in and I'll show you. It's gonna give you about half of this for that. But I like it almost full because I'm normally starving in the morning. So um, we'll just go ahead and do that. Um, it calls for three fourths cup of milk. Um, I use silk unsweetened vanilla almond milk because I don't drink regular milk. Um, it depends on the consistency that you want it. You can make it to where it is a, a little bit more runny or make it to where it's more thick. So I just know about how much to put in here for the set consistency that I want. So we'll get that in. And then lastly, my favorite thing in the world my organic peanut butter powder guys this stuff is awesome i get this whole thing from costco's for i think like 5.99 so it is so good literally a lifesaver i recommend it um it's really good for you in place of regular peanut butter and then i do two tablespoons two gaping tablespoons <laughs> literally overflowing tablespoons of the peanut butter spread yum so you're just gonna go ahead and mix it. I have a little wisp, but the spoon was right next to me, so I decided to use a spoon. But yeah, just go ahead and make sure you really get the almond milk and with all your oats and the peanut butter spread or whatever you use. Like I said, I use the peanut butter, powder peanut butter spread. Just get that mixed up nice and good. It's gonna seem kind of um, liquidy right now, but when you get it overnight and um, take it out in the morning, I promise you it won't be. So then we're just going to go ahead and pour this in. This part can get messy. I don't know why I don't do it in some sort of better way, but I kind of just pour and hope it doesn't fall out because you know me. Always got to be extra. <laughs> so just like I said, it's going to look super liquidy right now, but promise you it will not be like this in the morning when we go to eat it. Oh, lost some. Told you guys I was gonna lose some. So. Oh my gosh. Hot Mess Express, right here. Okay. Almost got it all in. Okay. Made a mess, but. Okay, so I got it all in. So then you'll just. Go ahead and pop this lid on. This recipe only calls, only has to sit in the refrigerator for four hours. That's how long it has to sit for it to catch the, con the consistency and the texture that we're going for. I leave it in overnight, so it's like perfect in the morning. So, yeah. I'll just go ahead and I'll get it in the fridge and then we will see what it looks like in Good the morning. morning bright and early and I'm about to go to the gym so I'm about to pull out the overnight oats and show you guys what I do yeah. as you can see I told you that consistency is definitely going to change so completely different so to top, to top it off I like to put a little bit of honey on top just 
I literally just pour that honey right there. And then I like to top it with some blueberries and blackberries. Let me grab that now. Normally I'll just pop a few blueberries in. Mm -hmm. A few blackberries. 